Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm uh, here to present my thesis on bridging realities, advancing model construction through BIM and mixed reality integration. Uh, my supervisors were Bruno and Felipe, and this thesis was done in collaboration with the Blue Fab company situated in Praga under the guidance of Pedro. So my thesis focuses on three uh, integration topics, BIM, mixed reality, and robotics. These three aspects have now become fundamental for the automation in construction. BIM provides the data storage, while robotics plays the part of implementation and through the mixed reality, you can visualize the whole process. Now, why the mixed reality part? Because as we see in the construction during the robotics thing, the safety and everything is visualized. Uh, one, we can visualize everything before this integration. So therefore, my, my research focuses on the integration of these three. The motivation. Just this. Uh, hello. My screen is on the top of your presentation. So it's cutting a bit. Ah, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, is it now? Good? No? I'm still there. Mm. How oh, to cancel it? <laughs> uh, still no. I, I think it's done now. That's great. But we can okay. Can you see the screen? Yeah, we can see the screen, but not you, but it's okay. Okay, it's <laughs> it's fine. I guess something is like yeah, different with the integration okay uh, okay <laughs> uh, it's fine yeah we are unable to see but we can see clearly the screen so it's great. okay okay so the uh, collab the motivation and topic arise from the research uh, started by the blue fab company which develops prefabricated components for kitchen and washroom units, and they assemble them sometimes off-site and then transport them on-site. So the, the aim is to automate construction by utilizing robotics and mist reality. This research focuses on improving productivity and enhancing safety and human-robot uh, collaboration. To start the research, I divided my topics into uh, two basic dimensions, so BIM and robotic and mixed reality integration. Several workflow was studied to understand what is the ongoing work in the field. As the human and the robot will work in a shared collaborative space, therefore it is necessary to understand which tools are being used by the industry and how the linkage is being done. So at the end, by understanding and going through all the workflow, it will understood that the integration between, make, between mixed reality, BIM, and robotics is missing, and very less research, research is done in this direction. Uh, so to develop framework and workflow from the literature study, three type of experiments were conducted. Um, in the first, the photometry uh, was represented in the BIM IFSC format and uh, to understand how the softwares are interoperable, three types of experiments were conducted. Uh, in the first and second experiment, the, the model was converted in the IFSC UIDF format to understand in the text readable language. This model worked on the gazebo model and it was a robot operating software system. And uh, this workflow was done, but it was understood that uh, this visual, this text language scripting was difficult to do. So the third type of experiment was conducted in which the IFSC file was first converted to the uh, Rhino environment to visualize it in the picture format by the help of the geometry gene plugin. And then after that, the it was uh, with the help of KUKA commands, the robotic arm was visualized and it was, the experiment was conducted. Starting with the script developed in the Rhino crossup environment, the commands were sent to the KUKA robot robots and it was simultaneously visualized in the mixed reality with the HoloLens and the iPad. 
As can be seen in the figure three, the tasks were divided between human and robot. The data was updated in the web model and any changes that were done were seen through the mixed reality. Like from the start, the target was specified. If the robot worked in the good, in the right direction, the it was accepted by the human. Otherwise, it was declined and it was again started from the uh, top point. So in this way, the human and the robot both worked in the collaboration with each other. To uh, implement the workflow in which the commands were sent to the KUKA robot and its visualization was done in the mixed reality, two types of concepts were developed. First, work for the uh, testing part, the arena lab in the Yuminho, in which the panel were assembled off-site and then transported, performing assembly-like operation. As can be seen in the figure four, the proposal to fabricate panels off-site. This was adapted from the concept of uh, an NRL et al, and it was conducted to understand how the automation process will be done when each panel is done from the start. The other process was done for the Blue Fab company where they wanted to have a gantry system in which the robotic arm was placed on the ceiling and the arm should conduct the 360 degree workflow. So to start the first day testing, first the position of the robot was determined and then the robot markers were done, the calibration of the geometry was done, everything was planned and marked. It was all uh, included in the as built BIM model. All the data was included, how the panels will be installed, how the schedule will be done. And then in the lab, the markers were set and the images were clicked. As you can see, the, uh, the prototype testing was done. It was reduced by half the size of the panel. Starting from the pickup commands, the main idea was to uh, inscribe robot to pick from one place and, the place and then place to the other table to uh, understand how the uh, robotic arm will function, how the human will uh, uh, collaborate and how it will be like, it will uh, see in the mixed reality, the initiating of data. So after the uh, every step of command was done, it was visualized with, in the mixed reality with the help of follow less. And like in the figure 11 depicts the whole process, the model was, uh, given by the Bluefab company in the Revit-based platform. It was simulated in the Rhino environment, and then in the mixed reality, it was visualized that the whole process. Uh, as the implementer start, the robotic arm picks the panel and then places on the table. As you can see in the figure, the human through the hollow lens is trying to visualize how the robotic arm will work. So this is where the mixed reality has its full uh, play. As before actual implementation, you can know the movement of the robotic arm. And if the error is there, you can already through the uh, visualization solve it. The, uh, in this, the result, you can see the whole panel is installed. And with the markers placed in the right figure, you can see with the QR, you can see the exact position of where the uh, robot will be working and how the environment will be uh, in hand will be visualized. So at the end, the everything, every data was uh, updated in the BIM model, provide the training was provided to the person who will be using the BIM model and the as built BIM model was done and the project was closed out. So as the as built will, uh, model will help in knowing of all the process of the automation. So at the end, with the plenary, like a cloud place platform, you can add how the schedule is gonna be, uh, who are your stakeholders, and you can describe the project to him. And as the model is completed in the Fologram app, the mixed reality app that is useful in the Rhino, you can see the model anywhere and update the requirements and visualize that how after the updation, the process will be uh, completed. So in conclusion, the mixed reality BIM and robotics integration will help in the automation of processes. The um, safety will be enhanced, like sometimes there's a label shortage, sometimes there's this accident. So that will be refined with the mixed reality, with visualizing everything environment. 
and still the research is not that much in this field it is improving the mixed reality part is just for the um, supervision but in the near future it has been developed that even you can operate the robot remotely from any location and the geometry will be updated so this will be like the future uh, research in this work so thank you <laughs>